Hey, you're through to Books Boys. You've got Dean on the line. Who's calling? Hi, here is Hyogo Kokors, the, the author of uh, Summarize of Fukushima. Summarize of Fukushima, that's awesome, because we were just talking about the, the book there. So, Hugo, this is your first book, am I right? Yes, it's my, my first work. Awesome. And how long did it take to, to write this? 16. I uh, wrote the... Uh, I wrote uh, all, all the rest in 2018. I think it took more or less six months to, okay. to write there, including research, uh, looking for reference and everything. Sure. And I mean, did you feel that you needed, because obviously you're Brazilian and this book's set in Japan. So yes. what, why did you choose that setting? Did you have some connection with there before or was it just a, a, you know, a random choice? Or uh, I always like the martial arts. Okay. And uh, I think the best place to include some kind of situation involving that would be Japan. Sure. And uh, uh, my idea was about a zombie apocalypse anyway, and I was looking for a kind of, of an environment that I haven't seen anything related with that. Mm -hmm. And uh, starting connecting the dots and uh, the Japan look at the, like a, a, a nice time to do that and uh, the sa samurai age, the best time to choose. Cool. It's interesting because we have two, there's two separate things happening. There's the story about the samurais and obviously you've got the history with, with Sedo and Sakuraba, but then despite their story, you know, you've also got this, the samurai part, but also the zombie part. And every now and then we kind of, I'm just getting lost in the story with the characters and I remember, oh, there's a zombie apocalypse happening and suddenly they get attacked by, by some zombies, you know? So it, I think it's quite interesting the way it doesn't just focus just on zombie action. We get a lot of good bits with the characters as well, you know? Oh, uh, yes. I think uh, for me, the, the zombies uh, were important, but in, since I have the idea, it was like the, not the most important point in the book. I always like the characters well developed and I think that the zombies only would be something that would make them move in this the, the, the story uh, make them act mm. uh, and uh, the idea that uh, I think that when we have uh, many characters like we have in the book uh, we need to talk more about them to develop them other way we saw like uh, a lot of uh, zombie books zombie TV shows that we have like a two or three main characters and the others like it's like a, just a zombie food. Yeah. You know that they will die in some moment and you don't care about them. I try to create a connection with each one of them and make them a little special and make that I think would be better for the, the readers to create a connection. With. Yeah, I mean, I agree. And the story with, with Sedo and Sakuraba especially, I really like, you know, with them growing up together, but not quite being brothers and one excelling more than the other and that whole history that I think that's really really nice um tell me about the other chap MKG I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right he seems to be not the not the most agreeable uh chap you know he's um he seems to be causing some problems and you know not getting on with the group what was kind of the inspiration for his character um I think that uh I, I always like when we have someone that it's kind of a bad guy, but uh, maybe he will be important in some part of the, the plot. Uh, he, he made a lot of mistakes, but some, uh, in some moment he will be like essential. I think like Gollum in Lord of, the Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. uh, Gollum, it's like, uh, it's not the hero. Other, on the other hand, it's like, He's there to, to get the, the ring from Frodo, to create problems. But without uh, Gollum, I think they couldn't uh, destroy the ring in the end. Yeah, yeah. So they needed him in the end. And I suppose with KG, yes. in the end, they, they think that they need his boats, right? So that, or his dad's boats, I guess. And that's, yes, he, that's he his use. He created <laughs> like uh, uh, a reason to survive, a reason to... Uh, to travel across Japan to mm -hmm. uh, like a day. He was like a kind of, uh, 
he was offering a hope for them. Yeah, and I think he needed that because he was the least likable person. I think if he didn't have yes. the votes or he didn't have a reason to keep him around, you know, maybe they wouldn't bother. <laughs> yes, they, they were stuck with him. They, <laughs> if uh, he wasn't important, they could just uh, leave him in, the, yeah. in their way or let the zombies kill him. But because of the boats and the idea that uh, only with him they would be able to get that boat, they need to keep him alive. Yeah. And then, of course, there's his insistence that, you know, Kido is his wife, even though, well, they didn't complete the ceremony and she's clearly not interested in him. And he's, yeah. you know, he's insisting that, you know, she's got to go with him and all this. So he, he's not a likable chap. But as you say, it's good to have, you need to have that. You need to have one uh, antagonist, you know. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, I think that uh, when you have like zombies, the zombies, most of the time, they are the the main uh, villains of the, the history. But when you have like a cage, he will be like uh, someone that uh, we will keep them all the time, our out of the comfort zone, because yeah. they know that in some moment he can create a, a trouble for them. And. Then we, you know, they, they, they run into other interesting people because we have, they run into the savior and his little uh, cult, basically. Yes. And then later the new clan, which is different, but in the same way, it's, they've run into a different group of people with a different outlook that, you know, with a different goal. And it's interesting. Um, tell us about the savior. So is he, a, you know, he's not really a good guy, but in the end he tags along with them. Um, I think about the savior it's that uh, it's a kind of a character that uh, uh, he wasn't doing the, the, the right thing uh, in, a, in a general point of view, but thinking about uh, he was about what uh, he was believing, he were uh, he was doing the right thing. He was doing what uh, uh, he was giving like the message that he wants to give like, in his crazy mind, uh, his, the, he needed to purify the, the country. He needed to uh, finish all the, the man that, was, that created the problems in the past and restart again and keeping only the kids and the, the women. But other, uh, thinking about that, he was killing a, a lot of good people that could help, uh, help him. Anyway. Yeah, uh, and it doesn't, you know, it's it's interesting that he he gives up relatively quickly. You know, once once the the samurais come in, he's kind of like, okay, yeah, that's that's fair. I'm I'm beat. You know, <laughs> he doesn't continue his uh, his journey. You know, to purify. I think he was using more his influence to control the people that could protect him when he needed to protect himself. I think he, he thought, okay, I can't do that. Uh, <laughs> uh, doesn't matter fighting anymore. I, I will give up. Yeah. And the last group, of course, then is the new clan. And they, they're not looking to purify. Their, their mission is more, I guess, to, to wipe out the zombies, in a sense, um, in, a, in a different kind of way than, than the savior. They don't want to purify the population. They just want to fix the zombie problem and... Yes. I guess in the end, if you you know when we get as far as the epilogue, I guess they they achieve their goal, right? Oh yeah. So my idea with of this was like uh, creating an idea that it's, uh, the zombie apocalypse is something that happens uh, time after time, and because of that, they like uh, it was like it already happened, really happened, and uh, okay, they solved the problem like. Uh, 500 years ago, 700 years yeah. ago, and, and then no one remembers anymore. It's like a, it's never have a... It's kind of like a plague or something that, that comes, you know, it's a big problem for a while, they deal with it, and then it gets forgotten about it by the yeah. next society. And this, you know? it, start, uh, it started looking like uh, it's, uh, oh, it's just a legend. No one believes that uh, the zombies were there because no one uh, alive it alive nowadays uh, saw yeah. or, or knew someone that uh, was there in that time. But exactly. I, I, my idea was that, that uh, created uh, the message that, uh, okay, if uh, it would happen in the past, 
maybe we would never know. Mm-hmm. And we, and we might not ever know. That's that's very true. Let me ask you, who's your favorite character? Uh, the book, I think, uh, I like a lot of uh, Sakuraba. Sakuraba is my favorite, yeah. Because <laughs> he has like uh, all uh, his development. He was like a uh, uh, abandoned child and uh, he had a lot of support to overcome that. But uh, everything that he did, he t- always tried to do the right thing. He always yeah, tried he's to an honorable. He's an honorable guy, you know. Yeah. That's- yeah, that's why he's my favorite as well. I like Sato as well because Sato, it's like uh, he's not a kind of a bad or good, you know, black or white. It's like a, a walks in the gray area. Yeah, he just made some mistakes, maybe, you know. Yeah. So or didn't, uh, didn't always follow like the a, right path. He had like a dark past, but he always, in the end, he always uh, does the, the right thing. Yeah. So, is there going to be another book or was this uh you just wanted to do one you know what's what's happening next um i'm writing another book it's not related with uh summarize or, or okay zombies uh my idea now i went to the past my idea now is to go to the future ah yes and uh i'm living in toronto and because of that my idea is to have the the plot here in toronto nice like uh a hundred years in the future, uh, in a, a world that is not so different that we have nowadays, but uh, with a few te- technological innovations, like uh, people doesn't have any ep- weapons anymore. Uh, and uh, would it be like uh, the first one, if we think that it's a zombie book, but all the way it's like, uh, uh travel book is a road mm-hmm. book because they are traveling all the time now i'm thinking to make something like it's uh uh this topic cyberpunk book with uh a crime situation okay so it's going to be very different then yeah so i i, I want to include like a few easter eggs in the the the, the book that uh, who read the first one will be able to, to find uh, and identify. And uh, if uh, the person just read this one, we will be able to understand everything sure. without. Uh, well, why don't you give us a quick plug then? Where can we go and buy, where can the listeners buy Samurai's of Fukushima? Uh, I think it's a, a book that will be able to understand a little about the Samurai uh, Samurai age and how they used to live in that time uh it's some there's a lot of action as you expected in any zombie book uh, no one in save uh, is safe in that uh, adventure uh you can lose someone anytime and uh, there is fight death uh, passion sex uh, uh Emotion. I think uh, I try to to write uh, uh, as best as possible each character to create a connection with anyone. I think uh, you can have like a different style, but probably you will find a character that you can identify yourself. That was like my idea. I think it's a, a book that uh, uh, the English uh, edition doesn't have a too much uh, reviews yet, but the Portuguese uh, Portuguese edition, there are more than 50 uh, good reviews on that. People are enjoying, and I think uh, you you will have a a good time reading the book. Cool. And you can get it on Amazon, right? Yes, on Amazon, the the e-book, paperback, and uh, hardcover, and you can find the audiobook on Audible as well. Awesome. And I'll put a link to your website in the, in the show notes as well. Cool. Well, last question. I always ask every sure. author at the end of the interview, if there was one book that you wish you had been the person to write, what would it be? Uh, I love the, the Lord of the Rings. It's one of my favorite books. Uh, 
because of that, I think if I would have the the uh, capability to write like a token, uh, I would be uh, realized that I think it would be a great author. I have other Brazilian uh, authors that I think they are great, but I think for me, when I, I got the first time the, the Lord of the Rings, uh, I couldn't stop to read, uh, <laughs> to read that, and I I, I finished finished it before the the movies. And when I watched the movies, it was like okay, it's close. That was I was imagining okay. was all the description that uh, Tolkien put in his books. It's amazing. Yeah, of course. Well, that's why they're very long books. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> plenty <of> description. <laughs> well. Guys, I'll put a link, as I said, and everyone can go check out Samurais of Fukushima. Thank you very much for calling into the show. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. Uh, I'm, I've been listening to your podcast uh, the last few days and enjoying a lot. And uh, all the best for you guys. And uh, thank you for, for, for having me here with you. Awesome. Well, have yourself a good day. You too. Take Thanks. Care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.